About three years ago, I remember a night where I was sat in my bedroom and I was not doing good. I had a dream. I was going to do absolutely anything. I was going to do anything to achieve this dream. And that dream is probably similar to the dream that you have too. I wanted to be a successful music artist. I would have done anything at that point. I would have sacrificed anything that I needed to, to for one, make better music, to know that to have the confidence and know that my music was actually good enough to know that I was worthy of the success that I desired. But not only that, I just wanted the success, not for the material gain, not for the money. While that would have been nice, I wanted to leave an impact on the world and I wanted to change people through my music. But this very night, like I said, I was struggling. And the reason for that is because there is something that I was unaware of. And there's something that you're unaware of. And in this video, I hope to shed light on that thing that you're unaware of so that you can change it and it will change your fucking life. Because I wish to God that night that I was struggling, I found a video like this that would actually shed light on the reality of what it is to be a music artist. The reality of the struggle that you're going to go through because I don't feel like enough people say this shit. Now the reality is, is that the problem that I was struggling with, the reason behind this, the root of the problem, it wasn't a shitty mix. And while my mix sucked, that wasn't the reason that that was actually happening. It was a symptom of a bigger problem. And this bigger problem is the root of all your problems. This might be something that you don't want to hear me say. This might be something that you're going to try and shut out. But I can tell you, that older version of me, the problem was not my shitty mix. It wasn't that my vocals weren't good enough. It wasn't that I didn't practice enough. The problem was me. When you're a music artist, here's what you really need to understand. You are the product. So if we think about this, let's let's think about this in business terms, you and I. If we think of this, look at this, I have a lotion here, right? We have this lotion. This is a product. The way that they make this a better product is by making it smell better, making it moisturize you more. I don't fucking know. I'm not in the lotion business, but you get the idea. They have to modify the product to be a better product. When you make music, you are the product. I'm going to put the lotion down for now. <laughs> you are the product. And what that means for you is that in order to make better music, you have to fix yourself. You don't actually fix the music. A lot of the external things that you think are a cause of your problem are actually just you externalizing the responsibility that you're supposed to really take for yourself. Let's say that your mix is shit. Okay, why is your mix shit? Are you dedicating most of your time to learning how to mix better? Or are you drowning out the pains of not being good? Are you drowning out the feeling that you get from knowing that your mix sounds like shit? And are you going and watching YouTube videos like this one to go and drown out the pain of it? Are you going and reading books on how you could become a better engineer and learning the things and learning the techniques and, and, and learning the, the advanced skills that someone who actually is good at mixing would already know? Or are you going on TikTok and are you scrolling for an hour every single day? You are the product. It's not the music itself. It's you. Your brain is the thing that creates the music. This is common sense, but are you really, are you giving your brain the things that it needs in order to actually make the music that you want to make? Are you allowing yourself 30 minutes a day to actually stare at a fucking wall and just see what your brain thinks? Or are you opening a notepad on your computer, trying to write some lyrics that are generic that just say I'm fucking bitches off a of perk and, and going with that? Are you actually giving your brain time to to spark creativity? Be bored with yourself. Are you actually trying to become a better person? Odds are you're not. And this is what I was dealing with a few years ago. Any single time that I would go to make music, I would drown out the pain of knowing that I suck and my progress was fucking terrible. This is the exact problem that I had a few years ago when I sucked. I didn't understand that my brain was the catalyst i guess you could say to making better music it wasn't a better microphone and yes that would have helped but it, it wasn't the better microphone that was going to give me the results it wasn't the it wasn't using a better rhyme generator it wasn't 
finding a better beat on YouTube. It wasn't buying a new vocal preset from the people who want to sell you vocal presets. It's none of this bullshit. It's you dedicating your life to knowing what you need to do to become the better artist and actually putting in the fucking work. There's going to be pain that comes from this. There's going to be pain that comes along with the journey of wanting to get where you want to be. But you do have to destroy the current version of you because the current version of you can't achieve the things that you want to achieve. If it could, then it would have already. The version of you that is in this present moment doesn't know how to make the music that you want to make. Meaning that you have to get rid of this version of yourself and put in the work that would get you to the point where you want to be and the only way that you change the version of you to get to the version that you want to be is through pain so you need to reframe what it actually means to be going through the pain you have to reframe what it actually means when you sit down and you can't generate any lyrics in your mind and you can't mix in the way that you want reframe that to be an opportunity of you getting to the point where you want to be with your music Start taking responsibility for where you are. Stop drowning out the pain that you're feeling and face it, bro. I swear to God, this is the most important lesson I have ever learned with my music. I currently have 80 students inside of my private community where you can get literally everything you need to make music. A lot of people think it's just courses and they call me out for being a course seller. I don't give a fuck, but inside of that, it's a community where I will one-on-one -on -one help you. You can ask me for feedback. You will get courses. You'll get vocal presets. You'll get everything you need in order to be a better musician it will literally fast track your music to success and along with that you'll have a community of other people who are around you helping you so it's the most valuable thing you can invest in so first link in the description go check that out if you are interested with that being said i hope this helps you go face the pain get this shit done do what you know you need to do and stop drowning out the pain thank you for watching this video Mwah.